You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying to make it there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? All right, all right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome for this special edition. Uh, going straight to the SoundCloud um, of uh, <clears throat> the podcast talk show Tuesday, but it's not on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's your boy Hollywood here, as you know. But we continue before we uh, get to the guests that I got here today. You know, I just want to let you guys know, please, you know, hit the uh, follow, you know, hit the subscribe here, whatever method to follow the, uh, this community that we're growing right here. You know, like I said, I don't ask anybody for any money. But uh, um, to help out the the channel, to help out the community, you know, to get this spread out, you know, this information, I think it'd be valuable for everybody, especially us young brothers out here, you know, that's, uh, you know, that I feel like need it. Um, you know, just spread the word, uh, like, comment, all the good stuff, you know, it'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we got a special guest, his family right here. Make sure I give him a warm welcome. Uh, I'll let him introduce himself, man. What's up? Tell him who you are, man. Tell him what you do. What's going on, man? Um, uh, my name is Jeff. Um, I have a personal training company uh, that I've been running now for the past seven and a half, close to eight years. About two months off for it to be eight years. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Um, you want me to get basically uh right into my story really oh but yeah well yeah um yeah how man this is your this is your floor man it's your floor just, just oh. say whatever you want man it's all good all right uh basically you know i was born in barbados and i was raised in new york so so basically i moved to charlotte i live in charlotte north carolina now so i've been down here now for <laughs> 10 years i've been here for 10 years now and Basically, I came down here. I was in a hotel industry in New York. Hmm. So I came down here and I tried to transition and get a job into the hotel industry as well down here. <clears throat> but the pay was completely different. Like the pay down here, you only get in like $10, $11 an hour. And it's kind of hard for you really, really, really to survive. Hmm. Even cost of living is still cheaper. I mean, to have like a decent apartment or whatever the case may be, it was just really hard. So I started working at the hotel and then I put in the application for the sheriff office. So <laughs> yeah, then I became a sheriff. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I was working for the sheriff office for a year. So the reason why I was, another reason why I was able to get into that was because while I was in New York, I was doing a lot of movie premieres. So like, I was working with the NYPD, okay. um, all through the NYPD, of course. Maybe we was doing like you know private security. We was doing like movie premieres. Okay, okay. Let's okay. Say having like a big private event, you know, like in Manhattan. A lot of the off duty cops would go get that because they would make you know fifty, sixty thousand hours doing that. Okay, okay. So hold on. So so, so from Barbados to New York, then to North Carolina, right? Yeah, that's okay. North Carolina. So like I basically went to school. I came in I was I came I came to the US when I was nine. Mm. So, you know, I'm thirty four now, so I've been basically in Brooklyn forever. Yeah. Right? So um after that I became a sheriff, then like it was good, but then I started inside a facility. So like I was manning uh, about thirty four inmates a day, twelve and a half hour shifts. So while I was doing that you know, I started, to be honest, on my day off, I was like sleeping one, one night. Then I woke up in the morning and I said, man, so 
because like for months I was trying to think of a business, trying to figure out what it is I could do, mm. you know, on my own. Mm. So nine o'clock in the morning, I never forget it. Nine o'clock in the morning, I said fitness, right? So I said fitness. So like I turned to my girlfriend and I said, "Man, we need to do a flyer." Cause like I'm one of those people. If I come with an idea, I don't just stick on it. I think you need to come up with it, and, and I think you need to really go hard on it. You can't yeah, just, act on it. Yeah, yeah, you have to act on it. Cause most people will have like a lot of good ideas, but no one really say, "Okay, I'm going to take that chance and actually do it." Right. 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 So I don't care how smart you are. You you have to you have to basically just go in and, and try it. At least right, do it. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Do it. So I did that, you know, and of course I was still working at the sheriff office. Mm. So I'm doing that. I'm trying to do both now at the same time because the sheriff office is one month of nights, 12 and a half hour shift, then one month of days. So every month we rotate. Mm. So basically I'm there, you know, doing that. And as I'm going in, I'm looking at, at my, you know, like my coworkers, my colleagues, and I'm saying, you know, some of them been there for like 20 years and stuff like that. And I was like, man, I really can't see myself being here 20 years. Because you have uh, a very focused, angry state of mind when you're in there, uh, right? So, you know, I took a chance and I, and I told my sergeant that I'm leaving. Right. You know, I told him that I'm leaving. He said, Garner, you sure you want to do this? I said, you know, yeah, I'm going to take a chance. So, right. resign. Brought back my uniform and everything, and then I went full force with the fitness. So as far as that goes, it was like a gamble because you know, business is really like this, right? Everything goes in cycle. So when I left, business was okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I was able to pay my bills. I was able to handle single everything that I need to cover. Mm-hmm. So then, of course. Five, six months down the road, business started getting a little slow. A couple of clients fall off here and there. And this is like personal training, one-on-one personal training. Right. And I'm basically like freelancing. I'm not working inside of a facility. Right, right, right. All the marketing myself. So like I jumped out the window not going to work inside a facility. Because like right. I, cause, um, I've been working out basically from 10, from age 10. Right, right, right. So, you know, and prior to me moving to North Carolina, I was training my friends in New York anyway. Mm-hmm. So I said, man, I'm not going to take the route of going and working inside of a gym facility. I'm just going to create a company and do it all on my own. Right, right, right. Why would you want to have a boss if you already got the tools? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, a lot of people would say, you know what, I'm going to take that route just for, you know, experience. Right, 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 right. Like, which is cool, mm-hmm. you know, but I just I just wanted to go full force in. Right, 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 right. So of course I created a company, came with a company, got the LLC, got my EIN number, you know. Then I got someone to create a logo for me, you know, and the name, brand the name, and I just started basically working from there. And it's just it's really been a hustle ever since. Mm-hmm. You know, ever since. Damn, man, don't stop either. Don't stop either. No. So, <laughs> so, the, so the name of the company, what, what, what's the name of it? Uh, Caliber Fitness. Caliber Fitness. What, what, what gave you the, the idea for that name? You know, what, was that, what was the brainchild for uh, that? Caliber Fitness. Well, actually, I came with that name. I think my wife came with that name. Okay, okay. She came with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, she came with that name. So, like, my girlfriend at the time, who is my wife now, who I turned to to tell her about that, she came with the name. And I came up with the logo. Okay. So the logo is like for running, okay. boxing, okay. Like in New York as well. Right. And everything goes hand in hand. Well, you, you guys probably can't see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see it real good. Yeah, clear? Yeah. So it's cycling, it's running, it's boxing. Right. And we basically, basically just branded it that way. Okay. So is that how, like, so like when you said everything goes hand in hand, is that how you teach your clients through running, cycling? Uh, and, yeah. and boxing well well like i catered it that way because like every individual is different so like let's say that one client you know they're trying to learn how to run that okay 
they want to be able like some clients i will go out we'll run five miles you know i has i had some clients who was training to try to be an fbi agent okay try to get into the academy so that i was training with him he was running five six eight miles on top of other training techniques he was doing which is all circuit training right okay, okay. base training right you know and um so that's really why I just want to be functional, not just lifting weights, trying to right, be right, 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 right. But you want to be lean, you want to be you, your speed, you want to have speed, you know, a lot of stress relief clients that I have who are like a lot of corporate clients on top of that. So they like the mixture of stuff, not just one thing. I'm glad you so brought that, that up about, yeah. the, about uh, functional, functional fitness. You know, a lot of people want to, you know, lift weights and get big, but then, you mm -hmm. know, Especially in my experience, you know, when they talk to me and they ask me, you know, why is it that you, you know, just do martial arts or something like that? Mm -hmm. You know, because I say I like, I like to be, I like to be able to function. You know, you right. could be big, but that doesn't impress me because right, no. I, I, I know what to do with my body. <laughs> you, right. you, you know, you, you could just be big and not, and not really know, you know, and not yeah. have an idea. So I think I, I, I'm glad that you brought that up. You know, functional fitness is, is it's something you know, for everyday it's life. Good. It's true because like when I first started working out, of course, like everyone who started working out, they want to look, they want to look big. And right, stuff. right, right, right. But at this point, being so far in, that's not really the goal. Mm -hmm. The goal is speed. You know, you really just want to be lean. You want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. and, and most people who are really big, they're not necessarily 100% healthy. Mm -hmm. Right, know? right. Mm -hmm. They probably can't run a half a mile. Right, right. You know, so... You want to have the overall fitness aspect of it. Right. The only way you could really get like that is to be, you know, not so big, but just lean. Right, 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 right. Everything. You want to lift weights. You want to run. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to make sure that, that you just overall strength and speed, everything. Right, right, right. But that's mainly what me and everyone else here focus here at Caliber Fitness. So basically, it's me right now. Right. And, Someone else who works for me. Okay. And that's how it is right now. That's all we focus on. But uh, I, I want to run run back to something that you just said real quick, and then I thought, just thought about it. What? Because you you said it was just you and a partner. When did you have that mindset or that trust that you was like, you know, I need I need to include someone else in this. I need to make the circle a little bit bigger because it, especially even me, like I'm at the, at the point now where I'm like I have an idea that yeah. I want to make the circle a little bit but you know trust and stuff like that you can't you can't really trust everybody so you know I, I, well you know when you find that middle ground that when did you feel comfortable like well, how'd that go um well like i actually i actually didn't hire someone else till about two years ago mm -hmm. right and at first it was a female like i would rather have a female trainer and this is just part of my whole tactic because you know women i think would a hundred percent be loyal to you. Mm. And I got this from Damon Dash really and it really makes mm, sense. Mm, mm. Yeah. Women will be loyal to you as long as you don't disrespect them and you really just be a hundred percent honest with them, right? Mm. But with men, men like we have we just have the DNA in us where we eventually hopefully want to be our own boss. Mm. Like alpha male type of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So like eventually like that man will come and work for you, even though um, even though the female that I had with me, she's not with me no more because she mm -hmm. went on to other things. Mm -hmm. And I do have a male with me now. Right. And he's good. But you always have to basically basically have it in an aspect where you have full control, meaning that even if you bring someone mm -hmm. in, it's on your terms, you're going to delegate what it is you want them to do. And don't make it seem like if you're their boss. It's like a partnership, right? Mm. They're trying to build something together. together. Right. But but to answer your question, it was really just me trying to, you know, get more clients. In order for me to expand, it's, it's only so many hours in a day. Right. So in order for me to cover, you know, some extra clients, I would need help. Right, right, right. The visual that I would bring in, you know, they wouldn't touch the money. They don't touch anything. All they do is, is basically just train, mm. right? So, you know, to bring someone in as your partner, it has to be paperwork involved. You know, you have to... Agreements and something. Yeah, yeah, you have to sign a waiver. 
you know, let's say that you work with me and you take one of my clients or oh, whatever business it is, mm. you can't, you have a year for you to work with that particular individual, right? You can't yeah. just, okay, I've been training 10 clients from Caliber Fitness. Now I could just take those 10 clients and try to build on my own. Right. No, when you initially came with me, you signed, you signed some paperwork. Mm -hmm. So I don't care if it's your friend, it's a family member, everything has to be paid for. You can't, you can't, you can't trust anybody. Right, right, right. It's about protecting yourself. Yeah, you have to, right? And your business and your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not everything is going to be perfect, but you want to try to take the steps just in case something happens. Right, right, right. The tenant probably will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, what yeah. would you, you know, like... Who would you reach out to to get all this information? Because, I mean, tell, to be honest with you, some of this stuff is new to me, and I'm glad I'm talking to you about it, so I can also have this in my... You know, or just, just about the information when it's expanding the business, you know, the paperwork, uh, you know, um, the year before, you know, if they want to leave, you know, they can't take any of your clients and all that. Like, oh, well, um, all of that stuff you could get. You, you could find all that stuff online. You could, mm. get, you could basically get all these forms online. But to be 100%, like, if you print out a form, and let's say with the trainer that I make him sign a form and say, hey, you can't take a client, you know, he could kind of dispute it a little bit. It's not 100% concrete. Right. But he's going to think twice before he do it. Right, 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 right. This company here is serious, blah, blah, blah. Right. And he's a 1099, hmm. right? He's a 1099, so by the end of the year, he gets a tax return. Right. All right. So everything that he do from this standpoint, and that's another reason, let me backtrack. Right. Uh, that's another reason why I wanted to, you know, create a company and everything like that, because you want to create expenses, whether you're making money or not. Right. Because if you work in a nine to five, you're getting taxed right off the top. Mm -hmm. Right. But you, as now you have your own company, okay, now you're paying for marketing. Now... Now you're paying for all of these stuff that by the end of the year, it lowers your bottom line. Mm -hmm. right? And that's how most of these big corporations do it. Mm. And that's the only way, really, I think, really is to get ahead. You know, okay. it's hard. Like, just working a nine to five, unless you're like a doctor or you're a big investment banker or mm. something like that, it's extremely hard for you to really propel to that next level right, right, unless you're right. self-employed. And I know that from the jump, right? Right, right? So even though I was in the sheriff department and it was, you know, it's a stable job. I know every single couple, every single two weeks I'm going to get a check. Mm -hmm. Everyone is going to do something stupid. Everyone is going to go to jail. So right, right. officers and nurses secure. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But I just couldn't see myself being there. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I print out every single paperwork, you know, as far as getting the EIN number, I look all of that stuff up. My wife looked it all up and we print it out, incorporate everything. You know, and we basically just went from there. It was it's really it's really not hard. Anyone can get it. You get an EIN a EIN number online. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really not not that hard. All right. That's cool. That's actually yeah. some good information. A lot of, you know, young you know, a lot of people out here, a lot of young entrepreneurs, you know, they want to hear some of this information, you know what I'm saying? They think they can't do it. They don't know where to start. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be, you know, their own boss, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, yeah. they don't know, you know, they don't know how to get. But with that, I want you to go back to, like, like you said, it's still a hustle. You know, like, you know, um, I see a lot of, especially young brothers around here, you know, you from Brooklyn, you know how it is, you know how to, especially after 10 years, you know, from, probably coming back and forth, you see how to, landscape has changed yeah. you know um what would you tell young brothers out here that want to be young entrepreneurs you know how should they start you know how to keep consistent you know about hustle you know what would you you know what would you give you know you know what i'm saying how would you if you were talking to your young bro young brother right now just what would you tell him to, to get to get him in that in that position man just sit down think about exactly what it is you want to do Let's say that you have an idea, make a list. Think about, okay, whatever business you want to start, right? What is it that I need to start this business, okay? 
of course, if you don't have no capital at the time, you want to try to think of some something, you know, a business that possibly don't need a lot of capital. Mm-hmm. But let's say that you do, right? Like mm-hmm. this, one of my clients always told me, and I never forgot this. He was an investment banker guy. He said, Jeff, getting money is the easy part. Meaning that if you have a good um if you have a good idea and you make out a business plan, right? You could basically find investors, you know, to invest in your business. Mm-hmm. But it's just it's not easy, right? Like right. every day, every day you have to do something towards that business. You cannot just say, oh, you know, today I'm I'm going to try to do this business and I might go and go outside and play ball or sit inside and watch TV or go chill with my girl or my boyfriend, whatever right. the case may be. You have to put in a lot of work into that business every day. And to be self-employed, it comes with a lot of anxiety. Like, things don't just shut off. Right. You know? Like, I deal with clients all hours of the night. Like, 10, 11. I might wake up in the middle of the night thinking what I need to do for the next day. Right. And it's gotten to that it's, it's gotten to that point. You know? I think the entre- people trying to, trying to have their own business now, trying to be their own boss, I think it sounds good, but of course, everyone don't know what it is until they really get in it. Right. You go in it with the mindset to say, okay, it's not, it's not, this is not going to be easy. If you go in with that mindset, I think you could, you can make it. It might take a year. It might take two years. You just have to keep pushing. You know? Right. But what do you yeah. think? Okay. Oh, I was going to say, what do, you, what do you think gave you the, uh, I guess you could say the foundation to have the mentality that you have you know uh what influences you feel like in your life helped you to get to where you are and um you know helped you form the you know the groundwork for everything that you feel like you're accomplishing right now and, and beyond to be honest i just i just don't want to live normal mm. you know to be completely honest like like when I was in Brooklyn, I would see people, and that's another thing. Like if anyone who's who's from the hood or come up and they, you know, and they see this message, they have to understand that, you know, the hood is a lie. You know, like of course I had friends back in Brooklyn who sell drugs. You might see them, you know, roll up in a in a nice whip and stuff like that. One, you don't want to have no hate in your blood. If you have hate in the blood, there's there's no way I believe that you can prosper. Mm-hmm. You have to you have to move through life in a positive space. Mm-hmm. You have to be positive. I believe that things will come back to you negative mm-hmm. if you have, you know, just bad. Right, just right, bad right. Right? Right, right, I, right. I don't believe in that. But what I mean by the hood is a lie. Like, you might think, oh, that dude who's selling drugs right there, man, he got the hottest whip or the new Jordans or, or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Like, Five, six years down the road, he might not have that. Right, right, right. He might not have that. So, so like, I would say that, you know, don't try to be like them. Try to be your own self. And I think I have the mindset because, like, I never like to be to be like anyone else. You mm-hmm. know, I like to do my own thing. I don't like people to control me. Mm-hmm. So, me personally, I think you either have it and if you don't, you could possibly learn it, or you have to put in that that work and that energy each day to change your mindset to be someone to you know to basically do your own thing and 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 just continuously work hard. Right. Because it's not easy. Me personally, I just have the mindset where I saw that, you know, basically I wanted to I wanted to live good. I wanted a house. I wanted a, a a car, and it's not about that, but I just want to live good, so right, and right. I'm not feel right, 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 right. Not gonna be in a negative way that you get no. the things that you want. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> hustle and get it. Right, right, right. See, I don't sleep as much now. Like I, <laughs> four, I sleep maybe four hours. Right, right, right. Yes, I'm in fitness is not good, but I'm constantly thinking. Mm-hmm. Even before that, when I was in Brooklyn, I was working two jobs. Right. So, like, that foundation has already been building up mm-hmm. to this point. 
right. You know, it's not like when I was in New York, I was working a nine to five or, and I would just get off and I would just go chill. I used to get up and go do security work. Right. And I did that for six years. So all of that right there is like building up, right? Mm -hmm. All that right there is you're building up, building up. Now that I'm to this point here and my alarm goes off at 3.45, I'm ready. Right, 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 right. Because I've already been building up, building mm -hmm. myself up. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of if you don't have it, you have to just keep practicing. Keep practicing. Right. Just keep going. I think eventually, not guaranteed, you know, it'll be better for you. Right. I think. Right. And it's proven. It's proven. You can see all the YouTube entrepreneurs out there. Like, man, people go up and down. This thing is a cycle. Right, right, right. But I think that's the only way out. Mm -hmm. I I believe. Right. That's the only way out. You can't working nine to five, like I said, unless you're a, a doctor or or investment banker or you know or something like that. It's hard for you really to make it. Yeah. To me. To me. Right. Well, I mean, I, I feel like I think a lot of people are starting to feel that now. Now, this day and age, I think, especially how times have changed, where you know, in our parents' era. You know, when we were younger, you know, you you were paid and you were able to sustain a family yeah. with what you were being paid. You know what I'm saying? And and nowadays, people are noticing that hard work or working for somebody else is not really cutting it. You know, nobody's gonna pay you what you feel like you're worth. You know, time is right. something that you is so valuable, and especially nowadays, is you know, nobody's gonna pay you what you're worth. Like if you really, really sit down to think about it. Especially in these hard labor jobs, like what you had, you know, which is pretty much kind of like um, corrections in a way. You, you, even you, even though it's very secure, you know, and it sounds like good money because you know benefits and everything, it's still not worth your time if you really think about it and what, what you you know what you're getting out of it. You know, so mm. and a lot a but, lot of mm? wait, but side me not to cut you off because yeah. like, I don't want to forget I don't want to forget what you're saying. Yeah, I won't say 100 percent is not is not worth it mm. but you use that job to your advantage you don't right. just go in there and you do that nine to five you mm. going to you do that nine to five you try to you, you try to save a little bit of money right. but you also thinking every night trying to create your own thing right, right. what can i do Doing differently both at the same time mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. until you reach a point where you can say you know what i don't need that nine to five i'm going to take a gamble and do this yeah i hear you i mean do both Right. Don't just nine to five and then go out and party. Right. True. True. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. That, that's good. That's good. I was gonna, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna lead into that, and I'm glad you also bring that up so that we can unpack that and say, you know, anything that you're doing in life, try to grab the positive out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, whether it's you know a customer service job, you know, you you mopping up the floors, you know, but but anything that you know, this is not where you want to be now, but knowing okay i could take this i could take my work ethic and i could take it customer service i could learn how to talk to people i could use this for what i really want to do you know it, it's just how you take whatever you're doing in life and using it as a positive and, and, and taking that experience with you for whatever you want to do in, in, in the long term because right. i mean we all did things that we didn't want to do but we mm -hmm. shut we, you know we, we shut the hell up we, we stopped complaining and we did it and now yeah. you know we use what we've learned in our years to to help us now, you know what I'm saying? And right. and as we grow, we learn, and we're gonna do keep doing the same thing. Like you know, life is a constant, uh, you know, a battle, and, and it's constant. You know, you learn from everything. Yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah. just how you take it and you recycle it to to either benefit you or or, or not. Yeah, I think I it's agree. a mindset. I think it's you know, it's a mindset, and that's what I hope a lot of people gain from what you know we talking about right here. Uh, a mindset on <clears throat> how. Uh, how to live, you know, it's like it's, it's like a blueprint because, like you said, you wake up, you are constantly thinking about something. It, it's it, it don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Four for six, four to six hours sleeping. You know, a lot of these young brothers they want to be a boss, but they want to sleep for twelve hours. They want to sleep fourteen hours out of the day. Like all that time, that time is money. That time is you know uh, you know education. You learning something. You know that the time is too valuable to to to, to be sleeping all day. You know you you. Need, like you said, you only need four to six hours of sleep, really. If you get into a good, well, you know, well, necessarily, you need a little bit more than that. But mm -hmm. for me, you know, what right. I'm saying? Like, everyone body, everyone body is different. You should be sleeping a lot more, yeah. But 
like I said, I've been, I've been like for you, for example, Jason. How many how many hours do you sleep? Oh, I try to get six, man. <laughs> you try to get solid six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah solid six. Right. So like right. some people, like I have some people who have to get a solid eight hours. Right, right, right. Right. I mean, me, me personally, eight hours is great, but I I cannot sleep eight hours right, straight. Right, right. I just can't. Right. So I think personally that you know get get at least a minimum of six hopefully right but keep thinking you have to keep thinking man mm -hmm. you can't just you can't just get comfortable right especially not if you especially not in this day and age mm -hmm. you think whether you're you know you not whether you're african american or whatever the case may be if you want to if you want to grow and you want to like change the dimension of your of your of your family or something like that, mm -hmm. you will have to constantly keep thinking. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to keep thinking. You have to be able to take risks. Right. And I believe it's better to take risks while you're young. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because like when you get older, you know, it's more it's more at hand. Like mm -hmm. me now, you know, I have a wife, I have a baby, I have a sixteen right. year old, I have a sixteen year old and I have and I have a um one and a half, right. but it's harder for me now to take a risk now because yeah. you got people depending on you. All right, yeah, yeah, people more depending on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now, so now everything has to be a little bit more calculated. So even though you calculated, you know, you calculate it doesn't mean it's going to work. Right, right. So if you want to take a risk, if this is you know more of the young people, take it now. Mm -hmm. Take the risk now. You can always bounce back. Yeah, definitely. You know. Because it's harder for people to take risks when they have more responsibilities. Sure. It's a hundred percent harder. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. like even with fitness, you know, I could even translate that to fitness. You wanna do everything hard now and, and learn as many ways to work out everything as possible because if you get injured, you'll bounce back quicker than you know when we get older. When we get older, them things hurt a lot more and it takes us a lot longer. That's a fact. Yeah, man. I think I think fitness is important too, and I think you know. I think everyone should actually work out because mm. it creates. And I like to re and I like to focus everything back to a mindset because, mm. like, if you create a mindset where you getting up, you get in in a routine, you getting up, you mm. going to the gym, right. you know, now you you don't want to get up, but you're forcing yourself to get up to go to the gym to lift the weights. Mm. That's hard to do. You know, whatever workout that you're doing in the gym. You want to quit that work, or you might be doing. You might say, "Oh man, I'm supposed to do ten, but now I can only do eight. But you somehow find the strength to do that other two. Mm -hmm. I think creating a pattern and doing that every single day, that gym regimen is going to transition into your everyday life. Right, right. So right. When I get tough. You can be like, basically, subconsciously, you will push through that because mm -hmm. you have really been pushing through it and creating and creating discipline in the gym. Right, right. It's all about discipline, I, I think. Yeah, definitely, 100%. I believe that, too. All about discipline, man. It's all about discipline. Yeah, I believe that, too. Uh, we, like I said, with martial arts, I feel it's a mindset, like we were saying before. And if you could take that mindset from, you know, whatever, you know, lifting weights, you know, martial arts, you know, any, any, anything mm -hmm. like that, if you could take that, that, that will springboard you to everything else in life because you could refer back. Like, I can, you know, yo, I just sparred you know three rounds and this dude was busting me up and i got through it i could get through this you know you just gotta it's it's about you know uh co correlation you know making the the, the the correlation to you know things that you do it might not be the exact same thing but you could make right. the, the connection like if i could work hard here i could work hard here right and and even though even though like sometimes you might not even think about it mm -hmm. that might just happen subconsciously right right yeah mm -hmm. look back at stuff and i'm like wow but a lot of it is just a lot of it is just based on stuff that I've been doing, and then subconsciously, I just did it later on, later on mm -hmm. in life. But now mm -hmm. I do a lot of meditation now. But now I'm thinking back, it's like, oh, it's because of this. Why I'm able to do this? Right, right, right. But it would it would affect you in a positive way? Oh, yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely, no, definitely. I want to um, go back to something that you uh, said a lot, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of everybody needs to hear. Not just young brothers, not just young sisters out here, not every. Everybody needs to hear. Everybody out here nowadays, what I'm noticing, want to find a, a significant other. 
they out here chasing you know chasing people that are not worth it you know i want you to explain to these people how what what it's like to have a queen man what's the difference between a queen you know what i'm saying like like you said someone that you could turn to and, and, and help lifting you up and we let working together to get someplace better than we were before because you know you said it a lot you know my, my girlfriend at the time my wife now i told her this she helped me with this you know I want you to explain that to people and to go in as deep a detail as possible because I think a lot of people need to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think it's very, very important to have a strong person next to you. I mm -hmm. definitely believe that. I think some people could do it on their own. Right. But I, if you have, if like I always believe in, you, you know, it's a, it's a touche thing, but mm -hmm. two heads is definitely better than one. Yep. But yep. like... If you could have a strong person next to you, you could accomplish so much more, right. right? But like, if you if you choose the wrong person, that could that could like really slow down your growth, mm -hmm. right? So like, I might have a, I may have had a situation when I was younger, you know, with a significant, you know, who was my significant other at the time, right? Well, it might it might not have been the right situation for me. Right. And that kind of slowed down my growth, right? Mm -hmm. But now we got out of that situation. I'm in a different situation now. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, I had other girlfriends, but now right. I have a wife now. Right. Now I'm able to analyze and, 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 and have certain conversations with her, right? Mm -hmm. And she's, and like some stuff that I might not be strong at, she's strong at, mm -hmm. you know? So I think before you even like just meet a chick out there and just talk to, like pick her brain, under, try to understand her goals. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't pick her because you know she. Of course, like look, looks is important. Looks, looks is important, right? Yeah. But man, everything has to it has to line up together. Right? She can't be she can't be bad, but but you know she wants to just go spend all her money on shoes. <laughs> you can't build a foundation that way. Right, 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 right. The shoes ain't gonna save you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I think I think it's very important. I think it is very important to have a um a good strong person next to you, man. I think you you definitely have to take your time in choosing that. Right. And you might not get it right the first time, you know. Right, right. If you get it right the first time, friggin' hey, you're lucky. Yeah, right. God bless, man. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. Yeah. You know this. Life here is not made to be easy. Mm -hmm. If it was easy, if these things would be easy, then everybody would be, you know, mm -hmm. in the street, they, kumbaya. Yeah, and it's just, yeah. Uh, you know, each situation I believe that I went through made me stronger. Mm -hmm. Each relationship that I went through made me stronger and made me and gave me the understanding of exactly what it is that I'm looking for. All right, and I think that's a, that's another good thing that we want to say too. We're not telling everybody out here that. Um, you're not going to make mistakes. You know, you're not, like you said, you're not going to find a woman right away, you know, but I think what we also need to come back to is exactly what you said. Do it while you're young. Do it while, you know, you can afford to, you know, make these mistakes and bounce back from it quickly. You know what right. I'm saying? But at a certain point, you know, now you got to, you know, when you're hitting in your, you know, getting into your later twenties and stuff like, okay, well you should have the knowledge already. If you were paying attention to start mm -hmm. getting yourself on that right track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to, man. You have to. And then and then to me on top of that, like a lot of people and, and, and like me, I like I like to keep referring stuff back to like to the hood, right? Mm -hmm. You have to get out the hood. Yeah. So you gotta open up your mind to see other other things. Right. You know, you have to read absolutely. Mm -hmm. I didn't start reading to about to about my early twenties. Mm-hmm. Let me like seriously read. Right, 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 right. Okay. Have to read. Mm -hmm. So it's two things I think is very crucial, and one of them I was doing for a long time. Like I used to be in Brooklyn, but I used to get on the train. I used to go to Manhattan just to walk around, mm -hmm. get that feel, get the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I was, I was always, I was that was me. I was always into that. So mm -hmm. it's like I used to do. I could be in the hood now. I have these set of friends. I go to Manhattan. It's a whole nother dynamic, yep, right? Yep. Let's say you live in New York. Right. There, there's some area that you can go to wherever wherever you live that it's just different than if than your situation if it's not a great situation. Right, right. 
I think you have to go and 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 feel that, mm-hmm. see it because it gives you hope. You know, it fuels. It would fuel you. It fuel me anyway. Right. To do better. To say, you know what, I want to be like that. You know, and you just keep trying, but it takes a lot of discipline. Right. You can't go see it and then go back home and smoke a blunt. <laughs> you can't do that, right? Right, right, right. You know, right, right. I think smoking a blunt is wrong, but you got to be right. disciplined. Right, 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 right. Be disciplined. Right. And you have to take it serious, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it, I think that's a, that's an interesting one and a good one that I don't think a lot of people talk about. And I, like you know, it, it's something mm-hmm. you know how there's there's those things that you know, but you don't know how to articulate it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's a that's a very good one. I think you know try to you try to stay as cultured as possible. And I think yeah. New York is probably one of the best places to do that. There's everything out here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, everything. You know what I mean? And, you know, I think we, you know, we, we, we can't, we grow up, you know, where we grew up, you know, where you grew up, you know, I think it was a very, it's a very good place. Like New York has everything, cultures everywhere, you know, foods everywhere, you know, people, mm-hmm. like they said, it's a melting pot. And it's, and it's the, it's the truth. Oh, that's a hundred percent true. So I but, think. But see other places. Yeah. 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 Like go to Manhattan, walk around, go to Soho, go mm-hmm. to, you know, Midtown. Mm-hmm. Walk around and look, get some inspiration. Mm-hmm. You know, and another way that that's another way of where, or another way or to, to saying networking. That's what that's also what you're doing at a you know at just at a, at a base level. You know, a lot of people don't have you said have the have the finances. How can you do it in a way where you don't have the finance to do it? Exactly what right. you said. Get a metro, jump on, boom. You know, be yeah. you know, jump that because you know it's it's funny that you say that. Like I said, I never put the put a word to it. But that's something that you like. I, I could walk around anywhere. I don't. I could and I could talk to anybody yeah. and just be like, yo, you know, boom, what are you thinking about it? this? You know, just just whatever, you know, and, and, and that's just another way of getting, you know, uh, more cultured, you know, mm-hmm. getting more experience, getting your word out there, you know, learning more. You know, and um, reading, you know, I think nowadays a lot of people want things so quick that, um, that I think that's why podcasts and things like what we're doing right now is so much more popular because, like, again, what we said, time. Time is where everybody I start. I think a lot of people are starting to notice that it's just it's such a, you know, such a, you know, it's not, it, it, it's very uh, important, you know, and it's not, and it's not easy to have, you know, it's not, you know, everybody. So whatever you can do to make things easier for you and to, so you could do more than one thing, I think is, is that's why it's becoming such so, so more. If I could hear something and I'm gaining some knowledge of it, like let's say I'm listening to an audio book that's enhancing my knowledge, but I could also, you know, make it to this, disappointment or, or, or like it's just so valuable yeah i think so yeah. it, it's, it's very and you, you constantly have to feed that mind right you right constantly. right mm-hmm. and and that's where the growth is going to come from man you got you got to look back at at time you know and and if and if i relate this to like to to people from africa like mm. we got here the one thing we couldn't do was read right right, you know? right, right. Mm-hmm. so now later on in life and i'm not later on in life a lot of people don't like reading right mm-hmm. they're missing so much knowledge right. so much knowledge from that so i think it's important to you know to read and figure out and figure out and get in a, in a good space to understand certain things that way you could you know go to the next level if you, you had know, to each, um huh no, 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 no. yeah like each year by the end of the year, you need to sit down and be like, okay, what did I accomplish mm. this year? If you went through the whole year and you didn't accomplish nothing, you just waste a year. You waste a year, yeah. You can't get that back. You you have to accomplish. I don't care if it's just one thing. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to sit down and say, okay, I did this this year. Right. I accomplished this. Right. And then look at the list for next year. Right, 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 right. There's next year. Mm-hmm. And write that down and have it there so you could see it. Right. Goals, you know? goals, goals, having goals and at least trying to make, you know, whether whether it's a small step, but at least you're making a step. And I think a lot of people don't, don't sit down and just, you know, uh, meditate like you were saying, just be in their own thoughts. Yo, listen, let me put this out here. What did I do to accomplish this this day? This day, boom, boom, boom. And, it don't, you know, a year could be, you know, is a, is a big time. A, 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 well, not a big span, but you know what I mean? Like, you know. You're not gonna reach what you want to reach in a year, in a day. But no. where's that? What's the accountability? Okay, well, today, 
for the week, for the week, for the month, for the right. month, you know, for, for, you know, for the next month and for the next month, for 12 months, you know, for the year, yeah. you know, little, little by little, we know, you know, we're not saying, you know, you're not going to make it a year's worth of work in a day, <laughs> but you know, as long as you, you know what I mean? No, you it's, it's even even like me buying what's it called even even it's like me buying my house now like mm. i constantly used to drive around looking at houses mm -hmm. you know, just just driving around looking right but like subconsciously i'm i'm putting that i'm putting that in my space right right bring that to me right. so i did that for a few years like it didn't happen in a month two months right. a year it right. didn't happen just drive around looking at houses. So then I saw this one house with this uh, this one development, and I said, "Man, let me go take a chance. Let me see if I could, you know, get approved." This is like mm -hmm. a, a year of me driving around just looking since mm -hmm. I've been myself. So I went into that development, fill out some paperwork, blah blah blah. I got denied. Mm -hmm. Right? I didn't think nothing of it. Went back to the hustle, just hustling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still driving around looking at houses. You know, off and on, not every single day, but just right. off and on, right. whatever. Right. Two years passed by. My wife called me. She said, hey, you remember that same neighborhood that you went went into? My college, one of my one of, one of my homegirls I went to college with, she just got a house in that, in that same development. I was like, oh, really? And it just so happened that day that she called me, I was free that day, mm -hmm. you know? Like free that day, like I had a window till I had to start training. Right, right, right. So I went back in the neighborhood again. Let's keep in mind this is two years later. Mm -hmm. And did the same thing, fill out the paperwork again. People contact me next day. Oh, you got a pre approval, you know, you which mean that you possibly could get the help. That really right, 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 right. <laughs> But it took me two years to get that. Mm -hmm. They denied me. You know, the first time I came, right, 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 right. right? But it didn't stop me. Right. Right? I just kept pushing. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not going to happen overnight. Right, definitely. And I think it was good that, um, I think what people uh, should take from that as well is that, you know, you didn't let it stop you from the overall goal. There's going to be yeah. setbacks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, you know how many people I message in a day, almost every day, to get them on? you know, to do these, mm -hmm. these shows. And when yeah. I hear no's or I don't get no responses or, you know, all, I, all right, keep it moving. Thank you for your time. Boom, boom, boom. Keep yeah. it like, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's definitely gonna happen. Yeah. But all those no's is building you up. Right, too, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's making you stronger. So when somebody say no now, it's like, all right, all right cool. Mm -hmm. You know, like you just said, on to the next person. All right, all, yeah, keep it moving. It may take six months. It may take a year. Then it, out of the blue, it might start clicking. Boom, right. boom, boom, right. boom, 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 boom. Right. And before you be like, oh, wow, now people is calling me trying to be on here. Right, exactly. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I, I, I want to... Oh, what was that? No, I say stuff like that. It just happens, man. Right, yeah, it does. It's true. Yeah. And, I, and I, I think a lot of the, uh, again, like you said, the mindset comes back mm -hmm. to the discipline. Um comes back that you know we kind of know how it feels to be at one place and then when we look back we're like we here you know what i'm saying when it comes to like you know because fitness is a and i think that's that's very you know uh interesting and, and, and very um you know good for us people that are fitness and that's i think that's why we want to share it with so many people and i feel like it's, it's just a, it's just the foundation of everything you know if you if you don't have a good body you can't have a good mind you know what right. i'm saying and without the mind body connection I mean, you, you, I think it's one of the main factors why a lot of people are lost out here, man. They're eating wrong, yeah. you know, right. they, you know, eating wrong uh, uh, contributes to probably sleeping all day. You know, uh, you know, it's just so many factors with not being healthy and not being active. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's a hundred percent true, mm -hmm. man. That's hundred percent true. You definitely, like, fitness is definitely a foundation. Right. It's definitely a foundation. That discipline is going to create for you. You will not notice it, but it creates that discipline that'll push you forward. Right. Whether you have a six pack or not, right, it's right. A discipline that'll push you forward to the next level. Mm -hmm. Mostly mental. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's all mental. Right. And yeah, it works. Yeah, it sure, sure does.
Last mm-hmm. thing before um, I want to end up is I want to get your take, you know, it's off topic from everything that we talked about, but maybe we can bring it back into it. The whole uh, fiasco event with the Serena Williams uh, U.S. Open, you mm-hmm. know, uh, thing with, uh, what was her name? Uh, Naomi Osaka, the finals. What, yeah. what, what do you think about that whole, that whole fiasco event? What, what, what's your take on it? I didn't follow it 100%. I did, mm. I did see it flowing around. I did read the article. Mm. But, um, I mean, I think Serena really wanted to win. Of course you want to win, right? Right, right, right. You, you know, that's what she want to do. Do I think she was wrong for going to be and, and, and telling that guy how she felt? Um, damn. I mean... I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at it from a point of her passion, right? Right. Right. You're male or female. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like she wants to win so bad, she could have. She maybe brought herself a little bit out of character, mm-hmm. you know. But then, in her defense, men do do the same thing as far as like you know, their coaches might give them a little single, you know, signal here right, and there, right. mm-hmm. and it's okay. You know, um, is I I didn't really see nothing wrong with it because mm-hmm. like you do get passionate about about stuff and this is a big game, right, right, right. Yeah, so I didn't really see anything wrong with what it is that she you know that she did. Right, you right, know, right. didn't use any foul language or anything like that. Right. You know, she had and she had done some stuff in the past, but didn't she like break her racket? Too? Yeah, 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 she broke. Yeah, she broke like two rackets. <laughs> Really? But the game, she, she broke two records? Yeah. Oh, so she, you, you see, like, well, this wasn't the first time that Serena went off like this, though. Right, 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 right. This is not the first time. Yeah. But, but this is what makes Serena, Serena. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? I got you. I this mean, is why she won so many times, because she's just so, you know, she just want to win so bad. She's mm-hmm. so passionate about it. That it just it could come out in a negative way here and there, breaking right. around. Right, exactly. I want an apology. Right, I think uh, what a lot of what a lot uh-huh. of people need to um, what a lot maybe a lot of people don't know or can't relate to, but it's a it's a very uh, how could I say this? The dynamic is a lot different from a team sport than a one on one sport because at the end of the day, a one on one sport is always your fault. Right, it's like you you can't blame anybody in a one on one. <laughs> you, you, it's only, you know, it's only you. And then when you, when that happens, when an outside factor interacts and 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 it changes the dynamic of the the one on one confrontation, it, it it is a very stressful, you know, stressful event. Right. You know, because right. you like, you know, I'm over here fighting for my life, you know, or, right. or you know, my 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 tournament life, and I have this outside interference. You know, this is not what I signed up for. You know what I'm right. saying? So I could definitely, you know, I could definitely see that as somebody that you know. As done martial arts, you know, I fight people, you know, used to you know, beat against people one on one, you know, you did boxing, you know how it is to be one on one with somebody else, you know, at the at the end of the day, you know, to grow, and this is not just only in a in a one on one sport. To me, I so everything is my fault. Like, mm-hmm. That's that's how I you know, to me per, that me yeah. personally, that's how I grow. You know, I I always see you like, oh damn, I, I could have did this, I could have did this better, you know, oh, shit, I messed mm-hmm. up, you know, I this is my fault. You know, like, it's always my fault because I feel like there's no other way to get better. Because once you start that slope of everybody else, or if this didn't happen, this outside influence, you then now you start to push the blame and try to make you know it, it less about you. And I feel like right. that's that's a bad way to go. I rather you, you I know agree. what I mean. You I internalize agree. it. This is take me. Responsibility. You yeah, take it. yeah, take responsibility. And that's a lot of things. Accountability. I don't see that anymore. I, I, it's very you know you know you see it, especially a lot of young people they don't have accountability anymore i feel like it's being lost you know nobody's saying you know i could have did this better or let me stop complaining about this yeah. let me just do yeah. it own yeah mm-hmm. own up yeah own up man up you know you got to you know i'm saying like stop stop complaining so you think so you think that she was wrong basically so you think so you think she um she was basically wrong because you think she got too aggressive because she was losing mm-hmm. i i mean uh, well I know there's a lot of blame to go around. Let's just say, mm-hmm. but I feel the the mindset of a champion. She's a champion. Let, let, let's first and foremost, she's a champion. Yeah, 100%. she's probably she's probably the you know the best. She, she is the best woman women's tennis athlete that we have yeah. seen yet. Yeah, but 
I, I, I don't like the, like I said, as much as much as the blame was going to other places. And the mm-hmm. champion's mindset is that you, you shouldn't, you know, you're, you're a role model. You know, you want to, you, you know, you, you made comments about, you know, I'm doing this for my daughter. You know, I'm doing this for young women. That's, that's, that's the adverse to what you actually did, though, you know, because you right. need to own that. You need to show young, you right. know, your daughter and everything. Like, yeah, like, yo, this is, this, this is me. Yeah, this, this, this is what I did. You know, yeah, I, I went out there, you know, and I, you know, I yelled, I broke my record, but that's my fault. You know right. what I'm saying? I did that. I shouldn't have done right. that. You know, right. you need, you know, there, there's certain, you know, in a game, there's authorities. You know, you go in right. there knowing that. You know, you go, you know, you're going into the, this. This person can have an influence over the whole outcome right. of the, of you know, of this, of I, this uh, tournament, I, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that, like, like, we got kids. Me and you, you know, I, we got kids. I don't do anything throughout my day without having my kids and my my daughter in my mind. Right. And, and, and how she's going to look at me from whatever I'm doing. You know, I want I want her to be proud of me when she gets old. She's like, yo, you know, my dad did this, you know, my, right. and I, you know, I know you feel the same way. You know, I'm doing this. You know, you're doing what you're doing for your family. You know, you want, damn, you know, my, my dad, you know, he changed people's lives. You know, he was always, you know, what I'm saying? You, you know, what I, you know what I kind of mean? And, you know, you don't want that, you know, to be on some, uh, you know, man, you wilding out. You didn't, you know, you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't have no remorse or nothing like that. You didn't, you know, you just. You didn't have no accountability. You know, I, I, I have to show them that, you know, listen, there's a lot of blame to go around, but I know what I messed up and right. I don't want, you know, I, and I, now I'm not saying to not be passionate. I don't mm-hmm. think there's no reason to not be passionate about mm-hmm. whatever you do. And especially if it's something that you believe in, be passionate, but there's, there's places for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially like we could even go back to, you know, I mean, I know this is a, you know, a lot broader, a lot bigger, a lot more, maybe more important. We could go back to the civil rights movie. You know, a lot of these brothers died for what yeah. they believed in. Right. And if they didn't, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Hundred percent. But but there was there was a time and place for a lot of it. You know, right. it, you know they, they they didn't just always. You know, for instance, if they acted out in a certain way with you know the police or something like that, and so a lot of them could have died and not have made no impact. They could have died a lot earlier. That it, it was it was picking and choosing the right spots to make this impact. Right. I'm ready to go to jail or, or re- but I'm going to make sure everybody sees me go down in a blaze of glory. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't just go, you know, go out there one of them and just get, oh, I'm going to you know, go get crazy, get shot. And you know, you know what I'm saying? All right, so yeah. it's a lot of, you know, I, I feel like there's a lot of blames to go around, but I, everybody at both parties could have done things better, differently to make a, a better a, a impact to get what, what, you know, that point across. Yeah. I didn't know she broke two rackets though. Yeah. I you. <laughs> you it's got just crazy. Her. And plus, you gotta keep in mind, like how old? How old is this kid? Is the kid even? Is the baby even one yet? She uh, still I, I, has, yes. yeah. like her home is still off balance. Right. So. Yeah. I was thinking that. I was thinking. I was, a lot of people were. Yeah. You know. I yeah. know that postpartum thing is real. Yeah, it's real. So like that part. That part. Like, granted, she has went off before. Mm, right. 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 Mm. But this right here makes it a little bit even more. She's a little bit more sensitive now. Right, right, right. Because her hormones are still trying to balance off. She just, you know, on top of being as passionate as she is, it, it just, hopefully she'll look back. I'm pretty sure she's going to look back and be like, damn, why did I do that? Mm. And, I, and I had said that, you know, I, I did a, a you know video on my own before, you know, before speaking to you on my personal feelings on it, you know. And, and I just, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm hoping... Like I said, as a leader that she is, as a role model, I'm waiting for an apology. I'm waiting for mm-hmm. an apology, not just to, you know, the, the person that, you know, the infraction was on, but to the, to the fans, to everybody, you know, because that, that, that's what people, that's what you do. You know, if, if you're a leader, you know what you did wrong. You can own up to what you did wrong. Yeah. You got to, you know, you got to show that. So that, that's really what I'm waiting for. And hopefully, you know. Yeah. I think, I think, I think she just has that block, man. Her, her, her. I think she has that that block, that mental block that all she's seeing mm-hmm. is that she's being discriminated because right, she's right, a, right. all she see. Mm-hmm. You know, I really think that's all she see. Right, I mean, right. shocked she come and apologize or something like that. Because <laughs> all she kept saying is, is you know, the men do this, which is right, right, right. but. I'm fighting for women's rights. And I was like, what women's rights come for this? I don't know. What right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like she dropped that yeah. dropped that bomb so quick. I was just yeah. like, damn, you know, and, and 
you know, as men, you know, let's be honest, you know, there's a difference between us and and women. You know what okay. I'm saying? Women women are very emotional. Let's not sit here and say to the contrary. You know, we 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 are different. So at the same time, you know, I I had said previously in the video, like I said like before, the dynamic between when a man and man have an altercation is a lot different than when a woman and a man have an altercation because a man, if I'm in an altercation with a woman, I don't know really what to do because mm-hmm. there's nothing that you can do in an altercation with a woman that you won't write. No, you can't. No, if it's, it, not. it's not, I mean, let, let's be honest. A right. woman put their hands on you, you can't do nothing. Right. You can't really, you know, act out yelling, you know, yelling at a woman or something because you're wrong. You know, there's no right. real, and, and, I was, and I was saying that with the, with the dynamic between a man and a man, we could have a disagreement, we could be into an argument, but we know once it gets to a step where we got it, we got it. If you put hands on me, we know what time it is. Yeah. You know, like th- those dyna- the dynamic between those, you know, and a woman and a woman, you know, th- those dynamics are clear. But when the right. dynamics, so that's why when she's saying, you know, you wouldn't have done this to a man, the dynamic between a, a altercation between a man and a man is totally different. So you yeah. can't really say that. You know, yes, right. certain things, you know, they have done, you know, that, but the, the, again, the dynamic is a lot different. You can't just say, a man has cursed at you before. Yeah, but this is still it's still the a man and a man go, going at it. You know the altercation is different. You know the 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 dynamic is different. So you know that's that's why you know I I, I don't I don't always put a lot of um, stock on when women say you know you wouldn't do that to a man or you know equal and everything because we're not equal. You know there's nothing about us that's equal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you, know, you might be able to do something that. Um, that I can do as well. You may you have the yeah. ability to do it, but let, let you know. Let's not sit here and say that you know men don't do certain things better than women, and women do certain things better than men. Like it, it's, 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 then then we, we we all be the same. <laughs> you know, what yeah. I mean? if it was like yeah. that, we all not made the same. You know, we not we we all don't have biology uh, bi- biologically made the same. You know that 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 term and that that uh that quote gets thrown around too frequently, too easily. And, right. I, and I and I think it's now it's starting to get to a point where they're just throwing it out there, and you know we're supposed to be like, oh yeah, it's it's it's, it's gospel. No, it's not. It doesn't. Yeah. It, doesn't it don't. It don't work like that. Yeah, I think so. She 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 just. I don't know. I think man, she's just she just really wanted to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's for sure. <laughs> Was she right at every single aspect? Of of course not. Right. Definitely wasn't right at everything. But I don't know what behind the scenes is going on. With, yeah. You know, if men is, is getting treated way better in, in the sports of tennis than mm-hmm. women, possibly. Mm-hmm. But still, you have been in this sport for quite some right. time. Oh, you know what's going on. You right. say you want to change. But if you want to make a full change, you still have to not break your racket. Right, right, right. right. So, <laughs> it's kind of hard. That that aspect right there, to me, it right. makes it kind of like, okay, you want to make a change, but we could clearly see that, okay, your anger is, is getting the best of you. Right. You know? So, and that, that reminds me of uh, when you said that perfect example is, uh, you know, you can't prove your point in a positive light if you're doing something negative. So it's like yeah. saying, like, you know, um, how was it? Uh, it, when, when again, I you know I bring back to civil rights because that's one of the things that sticks in my mind the most. And you know we were out there killing people to try to get our point across as you know as African Americans. We would took the you know most of us took the, the nonviolent stands because yeah. you're like if you're doing something negative to me, but I'm still coming at you with positive you know with, with, or, or, or you know with a non-combatant. Right. Who 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 how does this look? You know when it, when you when every when when the grand scale of things look. You can't ever say that we did anything because we were we, you doing this to us. You know, right. you, you, you're beating on us. We're not beating on you. Mm-hmm. You know, so that, right. and, and look at how that message is so much more powerful than when somebody could have something negative to say about, oh, but look, you did this. How are you sending out positive, but you breaking rackets? Like you just said, you know, you can't try to put out a positive message, but have negative yeah. actions behind yeah. the positive message. You know, it, it, it diminishes the, the power of your message. That's why a lot of people need to read, man. Like, you know, a lot of people need to educate themselves, man. Like, you guys want to go out here and, 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 and be young entrepreneurs. You know, you want to make a change. Look at the people that came before you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, they was doing it before you. You know, they, I, they might, I think they may have a little something to say. 
Yeah, they definitely do. Hey, man. Uh, before we uh, end, any any messages, any closing shout outs you want to give? You know, any anything you want to tell to the people out here? Just keep pushing. Don't give up. I know I keep reiterating the same thing, but mm-hmm. just keep pushing. Don't give up. You know, nothing is nothing is done. Nothing is easy. Right. You know, like Callis say, it's a cold world out here. Bundle up. <laughs> it's a cold world. Yeah, you know what I mean, just keep just keep trying. You yeah. just have to keep trying and keep thinking every single day. Take your time to whether it's 15, 20 minutes, take your time to sit down and in a, in a space of just you and whether it's coming up with ideas, you're brainstorming, you know, that you could do outside of that nine to five job that you're doing. All right, all right, all right. Don't look for anyone to save you. No one is going to save you. I don't know. Save yourself. Okay. Save. And, family. I no one. That. and and that's and that's basically it, man. Just be smart. A hundred percent start a company. Start a company. That's the only way that you know you can see, you know, people like Trump and these other these other people who've done really well, or families have done really well, because, mm. you know, they pick it back in off of their families, bro. Right, right. <laughs> who have done really well, that's because they know how to finagle, mm. you know, the system and how to have their own business so they could have certain tax benefits. You know, Trump been doing tax benefits for years, mm. you know? The first property he built, which is the Hyatt property now on 42nd, in Lexington, that hotel back in the 70s, if I'm not, it could be the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, that hotel was just sitting there. It mm-hmm. wasn't a high, it was something else. But Trump was able to get a huge tax break. He paid no taxes mm-hmm. to get that property. Like I said, he created a plan, took it to the government, and he was able to get a tax break so he could build that property and not pay taxes. Which gave him a significant amount of money, right? Mm. So, so just little things like that. That wasn't little, but that was. You know, <laughs> but just things like that could really, you know, change the direction of your future and and your future kids or whatever the case may be. Right, your legacy, man. A lot of yeah, time. yeah. It, de- it definitely could. So just keep just keep going. You know, surround yourself by people who are smarter than you. Mm. You know, it's, it's cool to chill with people in the hood, but get out and talk to other people. Mm-hmm. Have to. And that's basically it, man. You know. Yeah. Right. You want to plug yeah. in uh, your, your, your business, your emails and all that so people get at you? I also um, put it in the, in the description, guys, so, you know, just in case you don't hear it. But. All right. Um, if you have any questions, you could you could hit me up at Jeff at Caliber Fit. That's C A R. I mean, that's C A L I B E R F I T. Caliberfit.com. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it, man. You know, mm-hmm. if you want to check out on Instagram, on um, at Caliber Fitness. Uh, my other Instagram is J G Banks Thirty. Okay. Before I accept you, I am going to look and make sure that you're on positive vibes. Now, yeah, not, yeah, you're not going. Yeah, <laughs> we not accept the dudes on that negative. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just I don't want to feed on that energy. Right, this is, right. This, this is the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's about it. All right. Well, thank you for everybody that's tuning in. That will tune in. Uh, we'll have this up uh, on SoundCloud, YouTube, and things like that. You know, just see. Facial expression. I know that's important to a lot of people. Um, and SoundCloud will have it up. Jeff, brother, family, love you. Uh, we'll talk to you. <laughs> talk to you soon. We got to get up when you get out here in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be out there in another month or so. All right, cool, cool, cool. If anything, I'll text you, you know, talk more, and I'll give you more information, everything like that. I'm going to set all this down, baby. All right, cool. All right, Please, brother. Man. Have a good night. So say hello to the family for me, man. I will do. Will do. All right, brother. Thank <laughs> you.